Newsom has announced his budget proposal for the coming year. He has proposed a $267 billion budget. He's referring to this as the California Comeback Plan, and it mentions it may be revised. So joining us now to talk more about the May revised budget proposal for uh, all of this is Senator uh, for the 28th Senate District, Melissa Melendez. Senator, thanks for taking some time. Good to see you. It's good to see you, too. I know you've got some concerns about this new May <laughs> revise. Can you... Give us some of the highlights. I can. You know, the governor has this idea that he needs to spend all of this surplus money right now today. And I think that it's a, a huge mistake. We don't know what's coming in the future. I think it is unwise to spend everything we have right now. And I have a, a great amount of concern with the fact that the governor has 400 different proposals, new proposals on how to spend this money. Now, to me, you know, when you have a surplus like this, which is unprecedented, you focus it. You focus it on the areas that really need the attention, like the DMB and bringing the DMB and their systems into the new millennium, like EDD, which has been unable to get people their unemployment checks. At this rate, people are going to get a stimulus check before they get the unemployment check that they should have gotten last year. Mm. These, you know, areas, they aren't super exciting. You know, no one is going to look at it and say, oh, wow, that's really incredible. But it's needed. It's desperately needed for a state of 40 million people who rely on just those two departments alone for so many things. So I, I no, I'm not happy about this revision. I think the governor is going far and beyond what is necessary. I understand people get excited about having extra money. We all do. But our job as legislators and his job as the governor is to be focused and prudent when he when he looks at, at the at the the balance sheet. We've had a number of guests come on the show and they say the only reason he's passing out these checks using the stimulus is because there's a recall election and he thinks that if he just sends people money, they won't recall him. What do you think? Well, I mean, people do respond to that type of incentive. I think that's correct. Is that what he's doing? It sure looks that way. I mean, I don't know what it's in his mind. But it seems very odd that the state has had, you know, revenue surpluses in the past and he hasn't chosen to go down this road. And it, it seems rather suspect to me. But I do think that Californians, you know, they're not stupid and they can see what's going on. And, and I will also add, if we have so much extra money, number one, that means people are being taxed too much. So why can't the governor say to the legislature, bring me a bill? that lowers taxes. That would benefit everyone in California. I mean, he has chosen to send a tax rebate, but only to certain people in the state. Why not send it to everyone? Everybody has suffered through the last year. Everybody has done exactly what they were asked to do and made sacrifices. Why not reward everyone and give everyone some of the money back that they gave the state in the first place? And I know a lot of people are criticizing the governor, especially these small businesses, saying that he's not even following the CDC guidelines to let vaccinated people stop wearing their masks, thinking that, you know, if he just followed the guidelines, there would be more people out and businesses would prosper sooner uh, than they are now. What are your thoughts on his decision to go against the CDC? Here's what I think happened. I think that the governor didn't know that the CDC was going to change the requirements for wearing a mask and he got caught flat footed and he wanted to be seen as remaining in control and he wanted to decide when Californians get to take off their mask. So he decided June 15th. I don't know what's so special about June 15th. Why can't it be May 15th, May 1st? Nobody really knows. Um, but I think that's what happened. I think that he just wants to be in control. And I think, you know, Californians are looking around the rest of the nation saying, why do they all have their masks off and, and we have another month to wait? It just, I don't, it, it has been a strange 14 months. Yeah, the, you, you've said, yeah, you can say that again. I think a lot of people um, share that same sentiment with you. Uh, Senator Melissa Melendez, uh, great to see you. Thanks so much for all the insight. Appreciate the time. You bet.